In this video, we will show you a variety of ways to use Bake & Joy Ultra Moist Scoop & Bake Batters. We will be making mini Bundt Cakes, Mary Ann's, also known as Shortcake Cups, and mini Loaf Cakes. It is very important that your batter be kept frozen at zero degrees or below until ready to thaw. When you are ready to thaw, remove the case from the freezer, remove the pails from the box, and place in your refrigerator overnight for best results. Before you start baking, make sure to preheat your oven and then gather the items you will need. First, we will show you how to make mini Bundt cakes using our cranberry orange nut batter. You will need a six cavity mini Bundt pan, a spatula, a scoop, and pan spray. Let's prepare our pan by spraying the cavities of the pan very well. To open the pail, you want to pop the safety seal, pull the strip off, then remove the lid. Next, use your spatula to gently fold the batter. Then it's time to scoop. To ensure consistent sized cakes, use a level scoop which you get by scraping the scoop on the side of the pail, then deposit into the center of each cavity. Use your finger to smooth the batter in the pan and clean off the middle tube. Preparing to bake Mary Ann's is a similar process. For these, you will need your batter, we are using chocolate chip, a 12 cavity Mary Ann pan, a spatula, a scoop, and pan spray. Be sure to coat each cavity completely with pan spray. After opening your pail, gently fold the batter and scoop into the pan. Be sure to smooth the top with your finger for even baking. We will now demonstrate a third way to use our batters by making mini loaf cakes. You will need a batter where you're using corn. You will also need a 12 cavity mini loaf pan, a spatula, a number 10 scoop, which makes a four ounce loaf, muffin liners, and your topping. Place a liner in each cavity. Gently fold the batter. Add a scoop of batter into each liner and top with your desired topping. If not scooping the entire pail, tightly replace the lid and place back into the refrigerator. Once thawed, shelf life is two days and be sure not to refreeze thawed batter. After you finish scooping, place the pan into the oven. Halfway through baking time, we recommend turning the pan to ensure even doneness. Near the end of the baking cycle, you will want to test for doneness and there are three ways you can do this. The first way is the spring back method. Use your finger to lightly push on the top of the cake. When the bun cake is fully baked, it will spring back. The second method is using a knife or wooden skewer inserted into the middle of the bun cake. It will come out clean when the cake is fully baked. The third method is using a probe thermometer. A fully baked cake should reach a minimum temperature of 210 degrees Fahrenheit. When bun cakes are fully baked, remove from the oven and place the pan on the cooling rack and allow it to cool. After 10 to 15 minutes, remove the cakes from the pan and allow it to cool completely. Once cooled, the cake can be packaged as desired. Leftover baked product can be stored at room temperature or in the freezer, and remember, baked items should never be stored in the refrigerator. Thank you for watching, and enjoy using our delicious and easy scoop and bake batters.